This is the given equation with the delta H, and the problem is asking us to use that information to find the delta H for this equation. And so we're going to look at how the first equation was changed. And the first thing we notice is that it was reversed. So we know the sign on our new delta H will be negative. And then the other thing we notice is that they have um, multiplied through everything by one half or divided by two, either way you want to think about it. So we can take one half times 185, right, and that's going to give us a negative 92.5 kilojoules for the delta H of the new equation.